Hello, good morning, namaste. I'm Lisa, the traveler. I'm right now in San Miguel de Allende. And today I want to share with you a yoga video for waking up our body in the morning to feel more comfortable during the day. So start to sit in a comfortable sitting posture. Now please bring your arms shoulder level and open and close your fingers. Now move your wrist down and now make a fist with your hands and start to move to make small circles to one direction and to the other direction. Open the hands and touch in the shoulders a few times, can do four or five times each movement and now to the sides the same, always with the, the, the arms shoulder level. Now stay and we will make circles with our elbows, trying to touch the elbows in the front, the ears and then the shoulder blades to one direction and to other direction. Really good for frozen shoulders. Very good. Now we will warm our neck. Look up, inhale, exhale when you look down. Make sure that you, know you don't strain. We are still cold. And now look to the sides and again, exhale in the side, inhale in the center. Come back to the center and tilt to the sides, trying to touch the shoulder with the ear without moving the shoulders. Now make a big circle to one direction and again to the other direction, always breathing through your nose. Very good. Now we will warm our legs and we will do the same. We'll start with our toes, back, back and forward. Now we start to move our feet from our ankles, back and forward, always breathing through the nose. Now we make circles with our ankles to one direction and then to the other direction. We are releasing the wind from our ankles, from our toes, from our feet. Bend the right leg and hold the thigh with your fingers and we straight the leg and bend, straight, bend. Now we, we make circles to one direction and to other direction. Releasing the wind from our knees. Straight and we will start with the left leg, the same, straight and bend and then circles to one direction and to the other direction. Straight in the, in the end, we straight again and we bend again the right leg and we bring the right foot to the left thigh and we start to make circles with our knee in one direction and in other direction. Now pull the knee close to the chest and push down. Inhale when you pull up and exhale when you go down. And now insist down and stay. Very good. Strengthen the leg twice and we will do the same with the left leg. We bring the left foot to the right thigh and we make circles with the left knee to one direction and to other direction, warming the hips. And now bring the knee up and down, inhale up, exhale down, once more, and now you insist down. The right leg is active. Stay, inhale up, straighten twice, exhale down. Now we bring the sole of our foot together, hold the toes with your hands, back straight, open the chest and we start to move our knees up and down in our Baddha Konasana or butterfly. And now we can start to do it a little bit faster. If you can, you can touch the floor with your knees. It's not my case. <laughs> now bring your feet a little bit forward, still soles of the foot together. And with an exhalation, bend the back forward from our hips 
grab the toes with your hands and try to bring the head close to the to the feet if it's not possible it's okay just stay where you can inhale come up exhale arms down now very gentle close the legs hold the knees and balance in your buttocks if you can or if not just leave the feet on the floor always breathing through the nose let's go now to our table pose open the the legs in line with the hips and arms in line with the shoulders hands and knees the same line knees and feet same line marjariasana inhale bend the spine look up exhale stretch the spine look down inhale concave the back exhale make an arch with your back inhale make a curve with your back exhale never lean buttocks down always respect your limits and the way you feel today this asana is really important for the flexibility of our spine one last time and come back to table pose and lift the knees from the floor in five four three two one and we start to straighten the legs slowly and we come to Adho Mukha Shavasana or our downward facing dog back straight shoulder blade clipping the body shoulders rolling out we can move our legs preparing for our pigeon pose and now with an inhalation bring your left leg high and bring the left knee close to the left hand knee in line with your hips right leg straight foot flat inhale look up stay arm straight open the chest and with an exhalation bring your arms to the front and the airline of your hair to the floor if you don't reach the floor the mat you can use a block a folded blanket or even a booster relax close your eyes and feel the extension inside of your hips it's a really important posture to open our hips pigeon pose inhale look up again lift your knee and bring your left leg to the top again now we will do with the right leg bring your right knee close to your right hand left leg is straight inhale look up stay feel the extension of your spine and of your hips and now with an exhalation bring your arms to the front and the airline to the mat right buttock in line with the left left leg is straight and active close your eyes breathe through the nose and stay inhale bring your hands close to your chest lift your head up straighten the right leg up and come back to Adho Mukha Svasana, walk on the side back straight leg straight stay breathing through your nose and now bring the weight of the body to your hands knees on the floor open your heels big toes together and come to Balasana or child pose the arms are straight figures and cap sheet and spine straight the airline of the head is on the floor inhale come back to table pose lift the left arm up and bring the arm shoulder and the side of the head to the mat and straighten the right arm in front of you feel the extension of your shoulder and the side of your back stay close your eyes keep breathing through the nose lift the left arm bring it back to the mat and now lift the right arm and bring the hand the arm the shoulder and the side of the head to the mat straighten the left arm and stay buttocks up spine straight 
bring the left arm back, straighten the right arm, big toes together, heels apart and come back to Balasana. Arm straight, forehead on the floor. Slide on the mat and turn the body, lay down on your back. We will do now a twist of our spine, another important asana to start the day. Bend your knees, bring your hands under the back of your head, inhale in the center, exhale, get your legs down to the right side and look to the left side. Feel the twist in your spine. This is really important to gain space between vertebras. Inhale, come back to the center, exhale, legs to the left side, head to the right side. Shoulder blades on the floor, feet together, legs together, stay, close your eyes. Inhale, come back to the center and you can hug your knees. And now we will straighten our legs, heels looking at each other, the toes look out, arms close to the body, palms up. And we just start our relaxation, our Shavasana. Try to do it at least five minutes to come back to the calmness. When you are ready, start to move your hands, your feet, bring your knees close to your chest, balance to the right and the left. And finally, leave the body, rest in one side and with the help of your hands, Come back to a sitting posture, relax your shoulders. Thank you so much for your trust, for your time. See you soon here. Have a wonderful, wonderful day.